Set D, the Sinatra Club kitchen. Come on in, let's see what we can cook up. Johnny, get the apron. <laughs> Joe Sabatino with the Actors Reporter. And I'm sitting here with, I guess you all know, Danny Nucci. And Danny, gosh, he has got, uh, I think, more credits than branches on trees with I don't all know the about stuff. That. Uh, you've I done. started very young. There you go. You were a hell of a seventh grader, right? Yeah, right. That's David. true, actually. Was it? No? Yeah. Yeah, sixth, sixth grade. What was your first job? General Hospital. No way. What did you play in General Hospital? I played a kid by the docks with, with Luke and Laura. Oh my gosh, you for are those going. Over, for those over 40 people. There you go. Yeah. Very cool. Well, Danny happens to be, we're on the set here of the Sinatra Club. And Danny happens to be playing the focal part of this whole movie, and he's playing John Gotti. So now I gotta ask you: you get they call you to come in to play John Gotti. What, like, what goes into your head when you're playing like one of the most notorious gangsters? Of... You mean when they called me and said, "Do you want to play John Gotti?" I yeah. said, "Can I play John Gotti?" <laughs> Will you let me play John Gotti? Yeah, absolutely. And they said, yeah. I mean, we actually sat down not too far from here, and we had coffee. Right. And uh, we sat down, and I, I couldn't tell if they were trying to give me the role or I was trying to sell myself to get the role. Oh, that's It was story. like one of those, like, okay, do, I think they want, do I need to sell myself? Should I be quiet now? I'm oh, not sure what great. I should do. That's great. And it just kind of worked out. And the way I got the part was a friend of mine was talking to Sal Polizzi. Right, right. And... Uh, said, Sal, who do you think you might want for John Gotti? He says, I like this actor, Danny Nucci. He's, and the, my friend said, I know him. He's like, I'll get him the script. So he calls me up. Right. And he says, oh, you got to meet me for coffee. I'm like, what is it? He's like, you got to meet me. I'm like, just tell me on the phone. He's like, no, no, no. You got to meet me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I drive to West LA. Right. I meet him. I go, what the fuck <laughs> is the big deal? And he says, uh, I got a script for you. I'm like, you've got a script for me? I, he said, yes. Yeah. So he hands me the script. He goes, they want you to play John Gotti. I'm like, no, they don't. Why, you gotta, why do you have to do this? He's right. like, no, they want you to really play John Gotti. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, here's Sal's number. Call him. Oh, my gosh. So I'm like, that's fantastic. Sal? Yeah. Is this Danny Nucci? Yeah, is this Sal? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I got your script. It's really good. He's like, yeah, should we meet? Yeah, let's meet. No way. Oh, yeah. Oh it's one of those. Gosh. It was one of those. So now let me ask you a question. So now you're playing John Gotti um, from before you actually started shooting to now meeting Sal and, and really, I guess, find, you know, getting that whole, like, blood of the whole Let me New tell you something. I haven't played a lot of real-life characters. Right. There is so much on John Gotti. Yeah. There is so much. And... What happened was at, at, at the beginning of my research, I began to get very overwhelmed because really? there's so much information. There's so huh. many, there's, there's wiretapes of him talking. There's right. videos of him, but they're all when he's 50, right. 55 years right, old. Right, right, I'm right. playing him in one night in 1972. There's nothing one night in 1972. Wow. Nothing of that, that, that young John Gotti. So... Oh. As, as I was gathering all this information, I was talking to Sal, mm -hmm. as I talked to John's son-in-law. Right, 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 right. Um, you know, just getting, you know, uh, what I really tried to do is I tried to kind of funnel it, funnel it all into what's in the script. Right. Because at the end of the day, I've got to do what's in the script. Exactly. And, exactly. you know, for me, it's more getting the essence of the guy. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right. I, I don't want to do it, you know, if I was going to do an imitation, I'd rather do it on Saturday Night Live. Absolutely. No, I totally <laughs> agree. And I, I know this is going to be great, but one thing I want to ask you yeah. is you've had such a long career in show business. I mean, we did a movie back, oh my oh, gosh, maybe that? 10 years was ago 10 together. Years ago? Yeah. yeah. But you've had such this long career, and being that we are doing an interview for Actors Reporter, mm -hmm. what is what would you say to anyone out there right now that's, you know, like a young performer starting to get into the business? Is there anything that you would say to them besides don't do it? No, is there anything? No, I would never say don't do it. Fantastic. Because I really believe, and it's been my experience, mm -hmm. that everybody, whether you know you want to say it's it's a fantasy or, or magical thinking or whatever, you know everybody's one job away. Right. Everybody, right? Everyone Very is cool. one job away. You get the right job and the right now. How that happens, I have no right. idea. Exactly. But exactly. it's true. And yeah. uh, the one thing I would say is do it. You know, I meet a lot of young actors that come sure. out to Los Angeles. Yeah, I just got here, and they're just so focused on you know getting the agent and getting right. the work. And it's my experience when you do it. 
whether it be in class or in a play or something. Mm -hmm. you, you've got to do it. It's not like a musician. Right. You right. can't sit at home and practice for eight hours. Right. You've got to do it. Mm -hmm. And the doing of it makes everything that happens in trying to get the business part of it going worth it because right. you're doing it and you're progressing and you're getting better and you love it and you're more passion and it just drives you. Wow. It's it, doing it. Yeah. You got to act. <laughs> That's it. So I guess it's like the Nike slogan. Just yeah, do just it. do it. Well, right. you've got to. I mean, you know. Very cool. Very cool. I mean, when I'm not working, I go to class. I, well, actually, you know, it's really interesting. Danny's done tons of movies, tons of TV. He's actually, you're actually doing a play yeah, right just, now. Yeah, I just finished a play. I did Italian-American Reconciliation you're, at I Theater mean, 68, yeah. This, I mean, it's a great part. I just want to say, you know, of all the actors in Hollywood, you are like the actor's actor. Because I'm you're not that. No, Thanks. seriously, no, I know you're humble and everything like that, but you... I'm you know, not that you, humble. No, well, he is, trust me. Um, but, you know, when you're not working, you're doing a play, you're in a class, you're hustling I here. I love it. It's fantastic. I man. love it. It's fantastic. And I have to say, from my own personal experience, probably one of the most giving actors uh, when I worked on with you, it just flashed in my head, Shark in a Bottle. Shark in a Bottle, You yeah. were fantastic. But I know you got to get back on set because yeah, I see people calling yes, you. Yes, they've, they've got so, people going with Mike. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I just want to say thank you, Danny. Thank, thank, thank you so much. I really appreciate Pleasure. it. Always. I know you're going to knock this out, and I can't wait to see yeah, it. Yeah, it's going to be good. Right? Fantastic. Thanks, guys. Okay. Bye.